In this video, we'll be solving some more factorable trig equations. Our first example, we're asked to solve cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Now, one way to approach this problem is to square root both signs. We must be careful, though, that uh, when you square root, you put plus or minus 1. I'm going to do this by factoring, so I'm going to move this 1 to the left by subtracting 1 from both signs. So I have cosine squared theta minus 1 is equal to 0. And then once I have everything over here and a 0 on this side, I can factor this like the difference of squares. So I have cosine theta plus 1 multiplied by cosine theta minus 1. And that product is equal to 0. Once you have um, factors multiplied together and the product is 0, you can set the factors equal to 0. So we have cosine theta plus 1 equals 0. And we have cosine theta minus 1 equals 0. If we subtract 1 from both sides, we have cosine theta equals negative 1. And if we add 1 to both sides, we have cosine theta equals positive 1. Now we know cosine is x over r. And so x is negative 1 when theta is 180 degrees. And x is positive 1 when theta is 0. So our solution then, theta is equal to 0 and 180. Let's do another one. We're asked to solve 2 sine x cosine x equals sine x. And this should be x is between 0 and 360, including the 0, but not the 360. Okay. Now, oftentimes, uh, when solving a problem like this, we're tempted to divide both sides by sine x to get it simplified. And I want to make this note. Do not divide by a trig function. Or any variable. And the reason is, is because that could be 0. The value of that trig function or the value of that variable could be 0. And so then you would have division by 0, which is undefined. So do not divide by a value that you don't know. So we need to subtract sine x from both sides. So this becomes 2 sine x cosine x minus sine x equals 0. Now we can uh, solve by factoring. We have a sine x in this term and in this term. So let's factor out our sine x. And uh, from this term, when we factor sine x out, we still have 2 times cosine x. And then minus. And when we factor a sine x out of this term, we have to write 1 as the factor that's left. All right, now we have two factors multiplied together equaling 0. We can set each factor equal to 0. 
sine x equals 0 and this one 2 cosine x minus 1 equals 0 I can add 1 to both sides here these will cancel so 2 cosine x equals 1 and divide by 2 both sides so cosine x equals 1 half so now I'm solving sine x equals 0 uh, remember sine is y over r and so y is 0 when x is 0 and 180 and then um, my cosine x is a positive in quadrants 1 and 4 Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. And this looks like thirty sixty ninety triangle. So my reference angle here is sixty. So in quadrant one, our angle is sixty degrees. And then in quadrant 4, I would go all the way around 360 and then back it up 60 degrees for this reference angle. So 300. We have four solutions.